Welcome back to another edition of Inside Source Executive Interview Series. My name is Dawn Tura. I'm President and CEO of Sourcing Industry Group, also known as SIG. And with me today is Frenchie Green. And Frenchie, your title is Head of Global Procurement Operations, ISS, at Facebook. So tell me a little bit about your job. That's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Is. It is. <laughs> so I am responsible for managing the team that uh, executes on uh, source-to-pay transactional activities at Facebook. Uh, specifically in Infra, which is a group that builds, designs, and runs our data centers globally. Ah, okay. Now you've been with SIG for a number of years and you've come back through your other organizations. What's the glue that keeps you coming back to SIG? SIG is amazing. It's, think of it as the one place that as a sourcing professional that I can go and meet my peers and do benchmarking in mass without having to schedule separate meetings and try to coordinate going to their location or them coming to me. I can show up at SIG with a set of questions or information that I need to understand for how mm -hmm. to run my business better and spend time really targeting the companies that I see that are there to have conversations with them and, and compare notes. There's nowhere else uh, in the industry that I'm able to do that as quickly as I can. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. The networking is amazing. The friendships that I've developed over the years with my peers has just been amazing. And Don, you and your staff do such a oh, fantastic job on executing. I, I'm excited every year to come. That's neat. So I met you back in Microsoft. Yes. And from Microsoft, and now you're once again on the buy side, but you did a little tenure where you went to Accenture for a few years and did BPO services. So tell me, what is it like on the other side of procurement? It's given me an appreciation for the sales process and what mm -hmm. sales teams go through to prepare for a proposal back to a client. I think as sourcing professionals, we do think about uh, the work and the effort involved, but to actually see the work and effort that's involved to put together a proposal and the number of different organizations that come together to help bring that to light and articulate uh, capabilities to customer is pretty significant. So I definitely have an appreciation. Uh, Are you nicer to suppliers now? I try to be. <laughs> <laughs> a little more empathetic, perhaps? I am a little more empathetic, <laughs> but I think knowing the resources they have at their disposal to deliver proposals uh, to clients, um, I'm pretty confident that when you ask for a turnaround in two weeks, they're pretty capable of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so at Facebook, I mean, it's a, it's a company that everyone around the world recognizes. And you have a young CEO. And so what is the corporate mandate for procurement? Is it always cost savings? Is it quality? What, is, what drives you? You know, there isn't a mandate for, for procurement. I can speak to the goals and objectives of our organization to support the business. The biggest one is speed and scalability. We need to make sure that we have frictionless processes in place to support the business so that they can execute on their goals and objectives. Obviously, like any company, we want to make sure that we protect the company, that there's compliance and risk elements within the processes and the things that we do every day. Uh, the other part of it, of course, is quality and making sure that we're delivering uh, quality services to stakeholders. And the experience and our brand is, is important as well. So very similar to other procurement organizations, it's important that uh, stakeholders, when they think about procurement and sourcing, that they have a good experience with us. They want to come to us. They want our help and our support. Okay, so before this, though, you worked for companies who've been established for a long time. And now you're, I mean, past the startup, but you're in a Silicon Valley, you know, startup environment still. Do, do things happen faster at Facebook than they did at previous employers? Is it different? Tell me about the experience. I would say the ability to make decisions and inform decisions quickly is pretty important. Mm -hmm. Our stakeholders, again, expect us to not bog them down in bureaucracy. Uh, to get things done in a reasonable and quick manner that so that they can continue to uh, run their business operations. I would say that um, working in tech, there is an expectation that you, you move fast and that you make decisions that are sound but uh, quickly and not, mm -hmm. I would say, get stuck in 
what I call analysis paralysis, which I, I've seen at other companies or other industries. So implementation, so what I was, I was talking to somebody yesterday and they were saying that implementation in Silicon Valley takes a fraction of the time it takes elsewhere. Is that just because it's Silicon Valley? Is it just because you're so tech minded? Or is it because you see the changes coming at you so fast you don't have two years to implement? I think it is because we're so tech minded and because we want to get things to market. And when I say to market, I speak internally. So we want to get things out to stakeholders, enhancements out to stakeholders as quickly as possible. And I have to say that that was a transition for me. When I think about software development, for example, mm -hmm. I think of the waterfall process where you have the stepped process and you have, have toll gates. In tech, that is not the way that they operate. They build, you evaluate, give feedback, modify, but getting something out to stakeholders as quickly as possible um, really is the rule of the game. So cognitive, you know, we talked a lot at this conference especially, cognitive AI, cognitive computing, is Facebook using that? Is there anything you can tell us about that? I unfortunately can't speak to what Facebook is, is doing specifically in the industry. I'd be happy to coordinate uh, getting you connected with someone on the marketing side that probably has a lot more knowledge in that space. I can tell you, based on my experience with uh, other employers and my knowledge of the industry, if I think about outsourced providers and the role that I serve for shared services and procurement, I am looking to them to bring AI, to bring RPA to bear so that we can improve our scalability, our ability to handle many more transactions because we are growing rapidly. It's interesting. I started at Facebook in June. I've now been there more than 33% of the rest of the organization, wow. which tells me I need to make sure we can scale. So definitely RPA, AI, I see mm -hmm. as things that we need to look at to help us automate and, and scale okay. over time. Well, I'll tell you, Facebook, we just recently went through Hurricane Matthew, and believe it or not, Facebook was our portal for communication to know how, so I was on Amelia Island to know how the island was doing for people that the first responders who weren't responding to emergencies yet, just doing videos around town to know that my house was standing, that, you know, it was just, it, I never thought of it as a lifeline before. So I have a whole new appreciation for Facebook that I'd never had before because that was my only news about how our island was faring and whether or not I'd have a home to come home to. It's amazing for me. Um being able to see people check in and say that they were safe yes. was amazing. And doing that on Facebook, uh, seeing Facebook Live and actually firsthand seeing the uh, destruction or how well people were faring mm -hmm. during the storm while it was actually happening was pretty amazing for me. I'm, I'm very proud of the technology that, that we've developed. And like you, I've seen it firsthand in my life every day. Yeah, it's really neat. So we're out of time right now, but I'd love for you to come back maybe next year and tell me what your journey is taking you forward on and what you're, what you're doing, because I know it's going to be something completely different and exciting. So would you come back again? I would absolutely come back again. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Folks, thank you for joining us for our Inside Source Executive Interview Series. Hopefully I'll see you again soon.